question tonight is going to be from Aaron Suttles of the Atlantic. Excuse me, the Athletic. Devontae, Nick Saban has described your game. He always says that he's always said that you play bigger than you are. Obviously, that, that sort of drove you that mentality by your, your comments tonight. I wonder how much that gave you the edge, people telling you that you weren't big enough. Um, it gave me a lot. It just made me want to just do everything more physical and just be a bigger version of what I am. Just everybody just thinking I'm so small, just showing everybody that I'm not the person that you can bully. Our next question will be from AP Stedham from WHEP. AP? <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Devontae, on winning the 2020 Heisman Trophy Award. Uh, Devontae, when did you start to envision that maybe there's a possibility that you could win this award? Um, honestly, I never just sat up and thought about it, for real. I've, I've had conversations, seen people send me things about it, kind of brushed it off. But honestly, I never sat up there and just honestly just thought about I could possibly win it. Anthony, Amy, please unmute yourself. Devontae, congratulations. Anthony, Amy with the Black News Channel. Uh, I remember, it, it, it seems like it was just yesterday when you were a freshman and you caught that touchdown uh, to win the game and win the title uh, back in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. At what point did you think to yourself, was that the moment or was there another point shortly thereafter or maybe even before when you really felt like you were going to rise to become one of the next greats to wear the Alabama uniform? Well, that was always the goal, even after that, even before that, to always try to leave my legacy and be one of the greats here. So after doing that, that kind of set the, set the bar high. So I can only, I tried to only elevate from there and just get better. Steven Smith. Devontae, just was there it, was there a huge piece of advice that Coach Saban gave you, or a teammate gave you, or family members gave you? What, what's the biggest piece of advice that you always carried as you're now holding this trophy? Um, just remain humble and just keep doing things the way I'm doing it. If I just keep doing things the way that I've been doing it, it got me here, and it's going to keep me going. Ryan Hennessy, WBTM. Devontae, congratulations. You talked a little bit uh, when we saw it on TV about your advice to younger players. You were kind of told you're too small at times, and Matt kind of touched on people doubting him as well. Can you kind of talk about that message again that you have after having the Heisman Trophy now in your hands? Um, just that you got to put your mind to the things that you want to do. If it's something that you really want to do, you have to truly believe in it and work for it and just keep working, and you're going to get everything that you're looking for. Scott Forrester, WBMA. Hi, Devontae. Congratulations. Um, now that now that you've won the trophy, and you know one of the things that you guys always talk about is finishing. How important is it to your legacy to uh, to go out and finish this the right way Monday night? Um, it's very important, just because the two main reasons I came back was to get my degree and to win another national championship. So I've checked one box. I'm just trying to check the other one now. Steve Moulton, WZZN. Devontae, congratulations uh, uh, on the Heisman Trophy tonight. I feel like I've heard your teammates talk more about how great you are on the field rather than you. Uh, so, I mean, I can't help but want to ask to you, uh, now that it's here and you won the award, uh, how does the moment feel, and uh, was it kind of surreal when you heard your name? Um, I kind of feel relieved just that it's, it's over with now. I can just focus on this last game, but um, it feels great just to hear my name called to win this award. Johnny Woods. 
Devante, Donnie Woods with World Exposure Report. Congratulations, young man. Um, growing up outside of Butler Town Park, what does this mean to you, your family, and, and your neighborhood? And then also on top of that, um, what drove you to be the best receiver to ever play at Alabama? Um, really just everything that I've been doing since I was little, just seeing people at the park, just playing basketball and football, just me just going out there wanting to play with them. And just if I'm going to come here to play receiver and play football, I mean, I want, why not want to be the best at doing it? And what does that mean to your your family and yourself winning the Heisman Trophy in your neighborhood? Um, it means a lot. Just the place where I come from, small place. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. Just someone giving the kids something to someone to look up to and laying the blueprint out for everybody that's coming up after me. Next up, Matthew Mendoza, WNYU. Hey, Devontae, congratulations on the Heisman Trophy. You're only the third player to win the Heisman Trophy for the University of Alabama. What does it mean to you to be enshrined in uh, history as one of the most important players in the history of the uh, storied franchise that is Alabama football? Um, it's a blessing. Um, those guys set a standard, and I'm just excited that I got a chance to come here and try to play to that standard and set the standard for everybody else that's coming after me. Cecil Hurt with the Tuscaloosa News. Devontae, I know you get to uh, talk to General Waddle every day, but have you heard from, uh, from Rodney and Judy at all uh, leading up to this? Um, yeah, just from what I have seen, I've, I've heard from Ruggs. He just um, congratulated me and just told me keep going and just that he's proud of me. Ralph Russo with the Associated Press. Hey, Devontae, congratulations. Um, you know, you seem like a guy who doesn't necessarily need a lot of attention and you play on a team with so many stars, star receivers, that it seemed like you didn't get a ton of attention until the last six weeks. Have you ever craved that, or did you like the idea that everybody was talking to Tua or Judy and now Mac and Najee? Um, I kind of like just being out of the way, not in the mix, and people not really talking to me. Um, I'm not <laughs> the most vocal person. I don't like talking that much. So it was kind of – it was enjoyable while it lasted um, now – things. Um, I have to talk more. I mean, I'm getting used to it now. I'm getting better at it. And I, I enjoy it. Are you enjoying the time in the spotlight now as far as, you know, winning this award? <laughs> um, it's a whole lot easier. So, yes. Okay. Thank you. Charlie Krause with, with the uh, coach and crew show. Hey, Devonta, congratulations. Uh, so a lot of players or, I guess, Heisman winners throughout the years have that one Heisman moment. I would assume yours is either the 90-yard uh, long pass or the punt return versus Arkansas. What would you say would be your number one Heisman moment? Um, I would probably say the punt return against Arkansas just because that – to show that I can uh, impact the game more than just being a receiver, whether it's on special teams or anything else. Christopher Walsh with Bama Central. Congratulations. Uh, two things real quick. Number one, what did it mean to you to, to see your hometown during that broadcast? And two, has it really hit you yet that, you, that you've won and, and this is going to change your life? Um, well, seeing the people back at home, it, it kind of hit me hard. Um, I, I kind of wanted to cry, but I, I stayed strong just to see the support of the people that was there um, is meant a lot to me. Pranab Rama. Uh, Devontae, congratulations on the Heisman. How much of this award is a testament to your hard work and the Alabama coaching staff? 
Um, just with the coaches here, they they help everyone around here job a whole lot easier, putting us in the perfect position to do what we do. Um, just us as a team coming to work every day, buying into and buying into all the details and things that this team has set. Just they make everything a whole lot easier for us. Just a quick follow up to that: Why is your family so crucial to your growth as a man and a player? Just because I, they've been there with me the whole way, and I've seen the things that go on in the community that I've been around, and it's been great examples. It's been not so great examples. So just being able to have them behind me and them show the support just means a lot to me. Thanks, Devonte. Tony Sukalis from BamaInsider.com. Yeah, Devonte. I mean, you you weren't alive the last time. Uh, a wide receiver won the Heisman. What does it mean to you to win this award at this position? And yeah, I guess what does that that honor mean to you? Um, it means a lot just to be one of the very few that play receiver that won the Heisman. It means a lot to me. Zubin Thravasta. Hey, Devante, congratulations. Uh, you mentioned Coach Wiggins in your speech a little bit. I was just wondering if you could uh, talk a little more about his impact on you as a player during your four years at Alabama. Um, it, it, he means a lot to me just every day I go in his office. We watch film before even going to our special teams meeting, just him taking the time out of his day, just sit down, and watch film, go, go through different coverages go through the things that defense would like to do and the tendencies of defense. So just, it means a lot to me just for him just to take time out of his day to do that with me. Thank you. Paul Gold. Uh, hi there. I just want to ask you if you have any um, connections to Heisman winners or any Heisman winners in particular that you look up to. Um, I, I've talked to Mark Ingram a couple times, but outside of that, no, not for real. He's probably the only one that I've talked to. Nathan Atkins. Hey, Devonte, congratulations on winning the Heisman. Uh, you've kind of, you've left your legacy at Bama for sure, but it's been a long road, even with the story of you playing scout team defense. Was there ever a moment where you thought about transferring or going somewhere else? Um, no, not at all. Just waiting my time. Um, just watching the guys that was ahead of me, just seeing the way that they did things and just followed their lead. And then eventually when my time came, just stepping up. Thank you. Aaron Suttles. You want to tell, what if you, if you feel comfortable enough to share what, what Max said to you? after the award, uh, we've caught a little bit on the broadcast. He already said he loved you, but did he share any words after that? Um, just that he was proud of me and that he loved me. That's all he, he really said. Steve Moulton. Devante, if you could uh, comment on your day, because uh, today was, I'm sure, uh, a heavy practice day. How, how hectic of a day has it been for you? Um, it's kind of been normal. Woke up at about six, came to work out, got treatment, uh, ate some breakfast, stayed around here, watched film, talked talk to the media, um, went to practice, went home, freshened up, came back here to the ceremony. And went a Heisman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, if there are any other questions, could you please raise your hand at this time? Back to A.P. Stedham again. Uh, Devante, you're dressed to impress this evening, looking sharp. <laughs> uh, Devante, I was wondering, who's the first person that came to mind when they said your name as the winner? Um, I, I don't even know. My, my mind is blanked out. <laughs> 